Since our girls are starting kindergarten next year, my buddies and I have been debating the pros and cons of different schools. I told them about a new Spanish immersion program nearby, thinking they'd be psyched. But Bill says, I had plenty of trouble in school without doing it in Spanish. Plus, my wife says we wouldn't fit in since we don't speak Spanish. I was sure Jose would be hot on a Spanish program, but he said, I went to one of those programs when I moved to the U.S., but Rosa already speaks English. The first bilingual schools were actually started in the U.S. by Polish immigrants in the 1600s. Today, there are many kinds of language-focused schools in the U.S. There are bilingual schools for kids with limited English skills. These schools teach kids in their native tongue as a bridge to learning English. The bridge can be short, fast-tracking kids into all English, or long, kids learning in two languages over several years. Then there are immersion or dual language programs. The goal of these programs is for students to leave high school completely biliterate. And of course, some traditional schools teach second languages as one of many academic classes. All kids benefit from speaking more than one language, and learning a second language when young actually develops brains in powerful ways. Not all language programs are right for all kids. Children with language-related disabilities may have a tough time with immersion programs. And they're not right for every parent, either. Helping with homework can be challenging. But language programs are worth considering. I convinced my friends to visit the school to find out what would be the right fit for their children. And you should, too. Do your research. ExploreGreatSchools.org to learn about language-based schools in your area, and then consider visiting one yourself.